Hi everyone, this is going to be project number three. We are going to create a car using the box modeling techniques and in the process you're going to learn some more of the box modeling tools uh, to create a little bit more complex object like this. So let us get started. We'll go to file reset and we'll start with the cube. The cube has to be elongated because it is a car. And you need to add a few segments. I will go to edged faces so you can see the segments. We'll need two in this direction and two in this direction. So in the last tutorial, we saw that we added an edit poly modifier. What we can also do is right click on the model and go to convert editable poly. Okay, and then the only thing is uh, you don't have access to your box anymore. Uh, uh, but we don't really need the access to the box. We can always add more segments and all through the edit poly modifier. So first thing we're going to do is select the top part and select the top faces using the control key. You can add more faces and then go down and you're going to add an extrusion to the car and then say OK. Now we're going to go to the vertex and we will do some sculpting here. So the car becomes a little long, goes at an angle, the top part can go back. Okay, this part can come out a little bit just to give the shape of shape to the car. If you want, this can be taller. <coughs> okay, so we got the basic shape. Now we will create the windshield. So you select this, control this. So these are the three front faces. We are going to use the insert tool so click on the inset and what it is going to do is it is going to create an edge around so you can see that it is creating an edge so this is going to be the metal frame and then this is going to be the windshield so we accept that and then you can see that it is just a line so we will add an extrusion and that extrusion will be going slightly inside so that metal frame is there and then the extrusion is there. Now what we need to do is we need to have a different color to our window than that of the car. So what we will do is we are going to go down and use this detach option and then we will name it windshield glass so you can see now this is one object and this is another object and now you can change the color of that object to a windshield color whatever color you like okay so now we will create a door and then again we'll select this one and what we can do is just move these a little back so that the door is a little wider. I'll select this and this and then we can also do the same thing on the other side. And then we are going to click on inset. And then we need a little bit of inset, not too much. OK. 
okay and it does the same thing on the other side <coughs> now I'm clicking on this button here to make this viewport big so you can make any viewport big and small by simply clicking here and going back okay so after we create the inset we extrude it inside a little bit if you want a little bit more you can go a little bit more but I think a little bit is good enough so we will create a inset on the back side and then can have a bigger one here and again we will extrude it inside so repetitive steps here will create a window here and here so again an inset and an extrude okay and then I'll select this control select this 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 control select this and this all these are our made up of glass so we will detach those and name it we'll just call it glass okay so when you get out of it this object we will name it car and these objects will have a different color Okay. now the next step is to create the headlights so again we'll follow the same step select this control select this and an insert decide what size insert should be accept it we'll go to the scale tool and we'll scale it Again, we are going to extrude it out so we can create the headlights that come out we'll insert it again and then we'll extrude it inside again And then we will detach it and then we will rename headlights get out of it select this and those colors will be we'll just select a yellow color for the headlight same way we need tail lights so I'll go to the polygon, select this one, control select this one. We are going to, going to add an inset, increase the inset, and then we're going to scale it so that it is square in size. And then we are going to again extrude it out. I think it's too much maybe I can move it back in a little bit we'll insert it again then we'll extrude it again this time it will go again inside then we're going to detach it and name it tail light so we get out of it select the tail light and add a red color to the tail light so we have tail light to our car we have windows headlights we need tires now <coughs> so we need a place to add tires 
So one tire will go here and then the other tire will go here. Now what has happened is there's not enough space for the tires. So I'm going to move these out. And what that has done is they have moved our objects. Object. We have to eyeball it. Looks good. This object will have to use a polygon option and move that polygon there. Okay, make sure everything looks nice. The windows are short now. <coughs> this object and move it here that looks good okay so now we need to add more segments so we can bend this up here so there are no segments here and no segments here so we go to the edge tool select these edges and this is another way to select these edges okay if i click like this you can see all the edges are selected but if you select one then you can either grow shrink ring or loop so if you ring it then all of them will get selected and then you need to click on connect and then we need two lines there in fact I need three lines okay and I'll explain you why I need three lines what we are going to do is see this is straight here and then these two will go up for creating the area for the wheel and then I wanted this area to stay straight Okay, so we need to do the same thing on here and why we use edge loop is that whenever you are creating any geometry in 3ds max what you should you would have noticed so far is that every single face is four-sided okay even though it is long if you see at this face it has four edges this is the first second third and fourth okay all of these edges are four-sided so this is a good practice to follow uh, when you add a mesh smooth modifier uh, you don't want unexpected results but in this case i'm not going to add a mesh smooth modifier but it is just a best practice to make sure whenever you create any geometry in 3ds uh, try your best to use four-sided uh, polygons this grid is a little bothering me so if i use the g key on the keyboard you can hide the grid temporarily so the grid won't bother you all right so let us do the same thing here select any edge so what we are going to do is we just need two lines here but because of those two lines a lot of lines are going to cre be created elsewhere and that is fine uh, that will at least keep your geometry clean so I'll select one edge and I'm going to ring it again okay now if you click one and then if you loop it uh, the best example to loop is show the loop is here for example you select this one and then if you loop it then it will select the loop around it and if you click on this and if you ring it then it is going to select it in this direction okay so ring is this and loop is that sometimes you get confused so you just click on one and then if it doesn't work you click on the other so you ring it and then you got to all right so because we detached it here it doesn't have to go any further up 
so we will not do it on top or maybe you can just ring it on top as well and then you're going to connect it and again we need three so this can stand straight and then these two will go up okay so select the vertex and then we will do this in the front view and then you can see that this distance is more and this is less so what we can do is we can scale this out okay and then these two will go up and we got to have it in the center here so you can manipulate it to make it look more or less clean geometry okay later on once we add the tire uh, we can again fix this because this looks bigger than this so I'm going to use a cylinder and then the tire uh, is going to have a center at this base here so you click and drag and then create a cylinder okay so you move the cylinder a little bit outside okay if you go to modify panel we don't need all these five segments but we do need one cap segment okay now these are these edges are very sharp so what I'll do is I'll again right click and convert it to editable poly select this edge control select this edge and then loop it Okay, so all the edges are selected and then we are going to not extrude but chamfer it okay and then you can decide how much you want it to chamfer that's good enough and then I'll chamfer those two edges again and this time the chamfer amount will be less so you can see that now you have nice smooth edges to your wheel now if you think that is not thick enough you can just I guess I just wanted nice and thick looking tire okay so now we need to create the rim area so you go to vertex select center vertex control select this side vertex and control select the polygon and then I think it works on this polygon here so you click on control select that polygon and these polygons are selected so we are going to use the extrude tool and we are going to extrude it inside move it a little more inside okay so it's extruded from both sides we'll accept it and again this color is going to be different than this color so there there are uh, other ways to add different colors to objects using um, materials but because we have not covered materials yet I'm detaching the object so this is not the best practice but uh, because we have not gone far uh, to learn textures and materials we are going to just simply use higher rim we are going to use uh, the crude method of coloring objects something that you have learned so far okay so you can see that now again this tire uh, is not smooth here inside so we will follow the same step we'll click on this edge and then we will control select this edge loop it and again we are going to 
chamfer it accept it chamfer it again and lower the values so you get a nice looking tire there okay once the tire is done we are going to use the front view to position it in the right place it should be in the middle there then we'll copy it to the back all right so now these lines are touching so i will go to this vertex select these two vertices scale and only scale in x axis slightly so it's not touching okay this was not copied so we will just simply shift copy it here we got to make sure it is in the center then you can go here remove it a little inside and then copy it using the shift key so I'm just shift move and we'll just instance it I didn't instance the back ones but you should have done that so now we got our card the last thing is to add a rear view mirror so we'll again select this and then go to edge select one edge I will just select these edges so you can see that all these edges are selected and then we are going to connect and I need two okay so I'll use the front view so you can see that the two edges are connected now I will bring them closer okay so this is where I'm going to extrude them out and now you need to decide where it should your uh, oh it's not moving in the right one is moving up one is moving down so I'll just accept it select these vertices and then we'll move it where we want our slightly down I think where we want our uh, rear view mirror to come out from so this and then control this we will extrude it out a little bit here and then we'll extrude a little bit more and then a little bit more and accept it then I'm going to show you how you can work on that here so you can see this one and control this four and scale it up so that's going to be the rear view mirror for you okay so we will hide the edged faces and that's the car so you can add some more accessories to the car and make it look the way you want it Maybe you can make these tires a little darker in color. Okay, to make it look cool. And that here car in 3ds Max. You see what all details you can add to this. There is wipers are there. There can be door handles. There can be some kind of a mesh, maybe some mufflers coming out. 
have fun with it. Thanks.